There's going to be some of y'all watching this video right now that were thinking about making one of these five builds I'm going to talk about here in this video. Now, I've been trying so hard to find the best possible builds based on attributes, badges, all of that. I was reading the comments on yesterday's video and someone in the comments was like, yo, where are my 5-7 post defenders at? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to mess around and make some garbage builds myself just to see what they're capable of. But there's going to be some real legit people making these builds thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to light it up. Now, there's so much wrong with just thinking that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> like so much oh my and you know what for most y'all you don't need me to sit here and tell you that the bills I'm gonna be mentioning are bad but these bills aren't like the worst possible bills you know they're not laughably bad bills they're just builds I think some people are gonna make and they're gonna think it's gonna be a good build so let's get into number one number one primary driving and finishing secondary three-point shooting why? Why would you do that to yourself? When you're a driver and a finisher, you have max athleticism, right? You you have max layup, max, max, you have all of that because you're supposed to be athletic taking it to the rim. But when you add three-point shooting, first of all, you lose your Hall of Fame badges. That's L number one. And if we just look at this screenshot, you take a hit on acceleration, speed, vertical, layups, dunks, and in return, you get a three-point shot that's not even worth using. The numbers Mike Wang's been spitting about the percentages is making it super clear that this year, if you don't have attributes, at least over a 75, but minimum 70, you have no business shooting the three ball. So you're gonna make this build here, driving and finishing primary, three-point shooting secondary, and there's no point in even upgrading your three-point shots because it's not going to be good enough to use. So you might as well save them for the attributes that matter. And then at that point, aren't you just better off making a pure slasher? But there's going to be people who's going to make that build. And they're not going to know until afterwards when they see all these build videos like, yo, what do you mean I made an ass build? I could, I could drive and shoot the three ball, except you can't drive as well. And you can't even get close to shooting a three ball. Build number two, defending primary three-point shooting secondary. There's, someone's gonna someone's gonna make the build. They're gonna be like, oh, I'm a lockdown defender, but I can also shoot the three ball. Except you can't shoot the three ball. Just like number one, you're atrocious at that. If you're on my team with that three-point waiting and you pull up for a shot, you're catching the meanest backhand. Then you're getting kicked out the party, deleted off my friends list. Now I'm gonna personally visit your house to take your game console and chuck it out the window because you make poor decisions. Why would you even wanna do that to yourself, man? Literally every Everything drops, strength drops, acceleration, speed, lateral quickness, vertical, blocks, steals, everything that makes you a lockdown defender, now you're less of that and you're more of something that isn't even useful. You're not gonna be shooting with like a 50 open shot three. And again, like the last one, you lost your Hall of Fame badges. You're gonna be a walking L on the park. People can see your build and go, oh, unless you did it for like sarcastic reasons, I'm gonna definitely have some sarcastic builds. The builds are always gonna be L's, always. Number three, defending primary and playmaking secondary. Now why? Do you just hate yourself? Is that it? Because in your mind, you're thinking, I'm gonna play defense, and on the other end, I can still handle the ball, except you can't. We were trying to get some answers out of Mike Wang yesterday on Twitter. He tweeted out saying that there's three different tiers to playmaking. Unless there's a fourth tier we don't know about at the very top, once you pass 70 ball handling, you, you're past tier one. You're now in tier two. Once you pass 86 ball handling, you're now in tier three. Now, I don't know if there's a tier four because Mike Wang stopped responding at that point, but what I do know is, you don't even come close to tier two. You're still a garbage ball handler and that's your secondary? You lost all your Hall of Fame badges because of that secondary. And just look at your layups and dunks. Where are you gonna go with the ball? You're not gonna shoot the ball. Your passing isn't that great. Are you gonna drive? Cause you're not good at that neither. You literally can't do nothing on offense regardless. So you might as well make a pure lockdown or some other blend that makes more sense. This is gonna be somebody that makes this bill here. Just like when I made a 6-6 post score in NBA 2K17, people probably thinking, yo, that man is out of his mind. Out there hustling for the tip ball, Charles with the rebound. We're on the break, mind frame, kicking it back to Agent and check it out. My first contact dog on a f***ing big man caught himself at the wrong time. But it was just a joke for me. It was fun. It was fun to make videos on garbage builds. But I never mistaken those garbage builds as elite builds. <laughs> <laughs> now keep in mind, like, if you're having fun with the build, yo, who cares? It's a video game. You're supposed to have fun, right? If you're winning the game and you're, you're you're just dominating, but you're not having fun, then why are you playing the game? Do something else with your time. Go outside or 
do play another game. So let's let's get that point clear, all right? You could have any one of these five builds here in this video and still have fun. In fact, if it's possible, I'm gonna make me a 5'7 post defender just so I can have fun, purely because of that. Now this next build is gonna be, I think it's gonna be, it might be a popular build, I still don't know. It's a primary ball handling and a secondary defense. Now for a lot of reasons, this build logically makes sense. If you don't care about scoring on offense, if you're just trying to find your teammates open and also be able to play defense, somebody might think, yeah, it's a solid build. I mean, for one, if you can't drive or shoot the three ball, it's kind of, it's gonna make you playmaking a little bit more difficult. You're gonna have to be a pretty phenomenal dribbler for me to be afraid, especially if you don't have those other attributes on offense. But the main L comes because not only do you lose your Hall of Fame badges, is you get a massive reduction in ball control and passing. And I think there's gonna be some builds where a primary playmaker can blend with something else and it's gonna be super solid, but I don't think this is one of those. I don't think this is even close to being one of those. The defense still isn't good enough for you to call yourself an elite defender. And unless you're really, really worried about people ISO dribbling you to the clock winds down, which we're hearing is gonna be a lot more difficult to pull off in this game, this build doesn't make that much sense. Every time I look at the playmakers this year, I don't know why, I'm so severely underwhelmed with their badges. Even a Hall of Fame dimer, I'm not even too excited about anymore. Cause everybody that I play with is gonna be able to make a shot whether or not dimer is there. But it's good to have, it's gonna be beneficial at times, it's gonna create buckets that otherwise wouldn't have been there. But anywhere from flashy passer to break starter to ankle breaker which was nerfed, it's like, Ah, and number five, this one deserves quite an introduction. Last year, this build was wildly irrelevant if you were playing against anybody that knew what they were doing. But still, there were people at the very top who were able to make the build work and dominate. But this year, it's seen a nerf, and it's, it's a funny nerf because it's like, at this point, why? <laughs> number five on the list is a pure stretch big. That is, that's why? And, and it's literally for one specific reason. There is only one individual reason that this build is a walking L. A pure stretch big does not, I repeat, does not have Hall of Fame limitless range. It's pure, it's not a blend. The pure stretch big does not have Hall of Fame limitless range. <laughs> Why, yo, I'm telling you, if I made it, it's almost. <laughs> Yo, stretch bigs are so lucky that they can shoot over top people and take more contests because if it wasn't for that, oh my, the, the L this build would be? On top of the fact that players move a lot slower this year, so if you thought that there was gonna be some playmaking animation glitch to help you get open this year, you're not gonna get open. Greens have been nerfed and now you're moving slower than ever, you're not getting open with that build. And you mean to tell me that even if you make your primary and secondary as a stretch big, you still don't have literally probably the best badge, if not one of the best badges in the game? If that's not an L, I don't know what is. Cause if you're a stretch big and you don't have a Hall of Fame limitless range, why? At that point, you might as well make a blend because the only thing stopping me from not making a blend sharpshooter primary is the fact that with any blend coming off a sharpshooter, you will no longer have one of the deadliest badges in the game, Hall of Fame Limitless Reign. That shit is so hilarious to me. Shout out to the 2K devs because one of the things that drove me crazy last year was the playmaking animation glitch happened which meant stretch bigs were jumping around like playmakers with the hippity hop action. That was frustrating. On top of the fact that especially if you were a stretch big and you never played as a sharpshooter, you didn't really recognize you could really shoot over anything, right? You could take a pretty harsh amount of contact and contest before it really began to affect your shot. So not only are we hearing the percentages are down this year, but it's just, just one reason. That's all it took for me to make this a part of the top five. <laughs> Yo, in the comments section, I know you probably already left one, but if you have a garbage build, leave it down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, man, make sure to subscribe. Yo, drop a like, do all of that prelude drops. I'm actually streaming at midnight, so I'm gonna be streaming the whole story mode. If y'all staying up, isn't it a Friday? Well, what day is it today? It's a Thursday. Yo, skip school on Friday. We're staying up, we're killing it on the prelude, right? Yo, legit, I remember as a kid, like when a game I really liked came out, yo, I played sick, I did everything because I knew I was gonna be at the top of the leaderboard. I couldn't let lectures kill me on the leaderboards. I'm trying to get up there on the standings. The professors never understood that, man. That's all I'm saying.
Anyway, I'm just so gassed, bro. That's all. <laughs> if you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm not gonna say it again. I'm out. Peace.